Hi there! Welcome to my YouTube channel Grammar Buzz Learning Made Easy. Hey, thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we are going to learn all about the figurative language or figure of speech simile. But before we do that, you already know what? We need to look into the lesson objectives for the day and they are know what are similes and know how to identify them. So, similes. What's up with similes? How do we use them? What are they? What is a simile? That's the most important question. In this video, we are going to learn about similes. Similes are a lot of fun to learn. You probably may be using them all the time without even realizing it. You may be wondering, what are similes? How could I have used them if I don't even know what they are? Similes are actually a way of comparing two things. A simile is a figure of speech that directly compares two unlike things. We compare things all the time, even without realizing that we are actually doing it. A simile is when you say that something is like something else. Isn't that quite interesting? We are actually comparing two different things. Now, a point for you to remember, and that is very important. A simile always uses the words as or like to compare two things. This is a very easy way for you to understand a simile. Take a look at this example sentence. A comparison has been made here. My nan is as wise as an owl. My nan is as wise as an owl. In this sentence, we are comparing my nan to an owl. What's the comparison? The comparison is that my nan is as wise as an owl or she is as wise like that of an owl. Look at this comparison. The baby sleeps like a koala. In this sentence, we are comparing the baby to a koala. What's the comparison? That the baby sleeps like a koala. This is a comparison. Let's look at both of our comparisons again. My nan is as wise as an owl and the baby sleeps like a koala. You want to know something interesting about these comparisons? These comparisons are similes. That's right. Both of these sentences are similes. You see, similes are comparisons that uses the words like or as. Both these words help you know that the comparison is a simile. Have a look at this sentence. The grapes are very sweet. This sentence is surely not a simile. But let us try to change this into a simile. Let's use a simile to describe the sweetness of the grapes. And we could say, the grapes are as sweet as honey. Well, well, what do we have here? I remember. Well, if you want to be direct about your comparisons, you need to find a perfect simile that uses as. These comparisons include the adjective and the nouns they are comparing. So you see, with the simile as, we always need an adjective. Let us now consider the same example for better understanding. The grapes are as sweet as honey. In this sentence, sweet is the adjective. And without this adjective, this simile would have no meaning. Look at this example sentence. She swims like a dolphin. She swims like a dolphin. Whoa! Her swimming in this sentence has been compared to that of a dolphin. Here, the word like draws a comparison between the pronoun she and the noun dolphin. Could you say why this sentence is a simile? That is because in this sentence, the comparison is made by using the word like. Don't forget, remember, similes are comparisons that use the word like or as. Similes are a way of comparing things using the words like or as. 
Take a look at this simile. His coat is as yellow as daffodils. His coat is as yellow as daffodils. We know that this is a simile because it is a comparison. And notice the word as. The word as means it's a comparison. That is, it is a simile. The yellow coat is compared to the yellow daffodils. And what does the coat have in common with the daffodils? Yes, of course, you are right. Both of them are yellow in color. The coat is yellow like the daffodils and that is a simile. Similes make a sentence more interesting to read or hear. So how do we spot a simile? It's quite easy. We only need to look for the words like or as in a sentence in order to identify it as a simile. Woho! So, you are as happy as a prince, as happy as a lark or as happy as a king today. Do you know why? Because you have already learnt everything about simile. And with that, we move on with our practice time. Well, so it's time for you to put into practice what you have learnt. So let us quickly see what is our practice time. Well, all you need to do is, is to create your own similes. Use these to form and create your own similes. Pause the video to write your answers. You may even drop your answers in the comment box below and I will surely get back to you. Hey, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to make more of such informative videos for you, then please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.